What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. We are here at the 2023 Triple Crown of Rotting. This is the first ever event like this and this event is incredible. It's put on by Gary Case and Bobby Alloway. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee and this show is nuts. We drove up Squirrel, the 79 Raptor and uh, right now we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you guys all the four trucks and i'm going to show you all the cars and trucks that i think are super cool because there are so many things here this video is not just going to be fords there's going to be a lot of cool stuff like this chevy with a low car ls classic motor so it looks like an original motor like stuff like that like this show is incredible so we're going to walk around i'm going to show you guys everything that i personally like and we're going to find all the ford trucks that are here and uh, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel right now if you can hit the subscribe button it really helps us out drop a like on there and uh comment below let me know what's your favorite thing that you see here today and uh let's go have some fun right, guys here's a perfect example of a what the heck i love this so this is a 1957 buick caballero wagon with a lsa supercharged so this is so cool and beautiful Look at the body lines on this thing. Man, check out this interior. This is off the chain. Wow. If you guys didn't know, I've got a, uh, I've got a thing for wagons. It's a really nice 442. Guys, check out this 56. Oh my gosh. So you can tell they pancaked the hood, looks like they pancaked the roof. That front bumper is stunning. I love the wheels that they went with. I don't really know which brand they are, but looks like 24s out back maybe. Absolutely beautiful. You're a bad boy? I wish. Oh man. Gorgeous. Not you, the truck. Look at this. There are so many good stuff here, it's crazy. All right guys, we're just gonna keep walking because this is the aisle that all the crazy stuff is. So this Camaro is probably one of my favorite Camaros I've ever seen. It was built by the Ring Brothers. They're out of Wisconsin. And this is like the furthest thing from a 69 Camaro, but still retains the look. Like they kept the SS grill, didn't do too much, but it's a wide body, full carbon fiber, I believe. Look at the grill intake on the hood. There they are. <laughs> Can we get the hood popped? Heck yeah. Check out the interior on this. One day, I want to build a Gran Torino to this level. See you, Troy. Oh. <laughs> Find you out beer 30? No, beer 30. All right. Maybe we'll connect guys. tonight too. So cool. Uh, <laughs> Mike, you guys outdid yourself. What's that? You outdid yourself. Thank you. This thing is so cool. No, you are. Alright guys, so over here we have Lolita Uni 10. So uh, this was a blazer, a square body blazer, and he put a roof on it so that way it looks like a full unibody. He's got an LT4 supercharged. This truck won Lone Star Throwdown this year. It, can I open it a little more? Is it alright? The whole interior was done by MTI, Chris and his team. I mean, they literally do some of the best work. Hey, Larry. Just incredible. Man, 
you could just run into anybody here. Look at that. Crew cab C10. Man. 64 wagon. This thing is cool. All right. So here we have the F600 built by Classic Car Studio. And this is one of the coolest trucks I've ever seen in my entire life. So everything on this was basically hand built. And uh, it's got a 24 valve Cummins. Look at that intake manifold. Look at just, this whole thing doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> We're going somewhere. What do you want to wear? I'll take out some shirts and show up and everything. I love this interior. Here we go. And then tea bag. And then I see the bag. Yeah, I didn't mail, and then my wife called Yeah, me. this is oh. the ultimate fat fender truck. Yes. I don't think there's any that are better. I'm just gonna hide at the end of the day. I love this. Here's the Ken Diggett built Challenger with a Helifant motor. They made this thing Bane. And it is nuts. This thing is so crazy. The interior was done by uh, Justin and Cato. Which is cool. <laughs> Justin does such good work. Man, is there some cool stuff here. Look at this Invicta. So this won the Sloniker Award this year at the Grand National Roadster Show in California. And it's one of the nicest Buicks, and one of the nicest cars, period. It's just incredible. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't make sense how nice some of these are. I'm quiet, it's because I don't know what to say. Fastback. This is super sweet. Roadster shop built 70 Chevelle. Pretty cool C10. Check it out. It's got a twin turbo setup. That's cool. Look at this custom. This C10 is so cool. So this was built by Classic Car Studio. I actually photographed this back in 2010. And uh, probably one of my all-time favorite C10s. Just the level of detail in the engine bay. And then they did the detail up here. It's got freaking carbon fiber valve covers. So cool. These are the same guys that built that F600 Fat Fender crew cab. And then here we have C10R, I think they call this. It's a full carbon fiber C10, and they actually race it, which is nice. I like when the trucks that are built for a purpose get used for said purpose. Wow. 
my shirt. That was a... All right, guys, this is crazy cool. So laid out 22s, 24s, it's some sort of Ford car hauler. They drove this all the way from Pekin, Illinois. Man, look at this. What's that? Hanging from the ceiling. Can we get it? Oh, look at it. There's like that gold. It's E.T. Man. I thought it was like taking a and auto body. These guys, look at this. And then they've got a crew cab five window Chevy on the back. This thing is rad. So cool. So cool. And then, let's say this isn't super, super cool, which it is. Check this out. So, I think it's a 53 or 54, I'm not sure. But it is beautiful. Looks like it's a candy paint job, obviously with a big fade. I remember seeing this at the Grand National F100 show. I think that's a lightning motor. Boy, is this thing cool. Man. Here we got a couple more Fords. Check this baby out. Looks like a 48. Man, is that slick. <laughs> Beautiful truck, sir. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. And check this thing out. You got us like it looks I think it's a 65. This has some awesome, awesome, awesome patina. Man, is that good patina. Super neat. Clean interior. Really nice. Very nice truck. 66. Heck yeah. And then over here, we got us a pretty sweet Galaxy 500 with a coyote under the hood. Look at this. There's so much hair. This is nuts. All right, I'm gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna keep trying to find more cool stuff and keep showing it to you guys. Look at this Mustang. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. Looks like it's got a GT500 set up in it. Man. Oh no, I thought it. <laughs> Jose's the, Jose's the hero. He was like holding this thing at the front, being like, come on, guys. That could have been terrible. How's it hanging, fellas? <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Check this thing out. So, 65 F100. This was built by Pope's Hot Rods a few years ago. We actually did a full What the Truck video with this. If you guys go just search Ford Era you know Pope's hot rods he did a really nice interior something that I like that he does is he paints his whole interior to match the leather so red and then everything's red the door the dash everything that's metal he paints to match which I like a lot because these trucks have so much metal and that way you don't have to just cover everything in leather this is super cool and it's got a fat fender front suspension four link rear uh, Fatman Fab, sorry, front suspension, 
and uh, he told me that he wants to sell this. So if anybody is looking for a turnkey 65, hit up Brian Pope, Pope's Hot Rods. And we got a really cool fat fender over here. This thing is neat. So many good, so many. And then we got us a old towing company truck, I guess, something like that. This is cool. All right, I'm just gonna keep finding them all, guys. The feet are gonna get tired pretty soon, but you know what? We're gonna persevere. All right, well, it looks like I found where Justin and Shane are parked. So here we have Justin's fridge. This thing is super cool, it's laid out. It's got a really clean interior. I love his bench seat. Super nice, and then his patina is just rocking. Then we got Shane's 64 F100. This thing is super cool. OG paint, laid out, just a really clean, clean truck. Too cool. Alright guys, here is one of my favorite fat fenders of all time. Some of my buddy Steve. Hood's not pop, but there's a coyote under the hood. This thing is so cool. Look at how beautiful the insides are. So Johnson's Hot Rod Shop. If you guys are into hot rods, you know who Johnson's is. Man. Alright guys, here is one of the most incredible fridges ever. So this was built for George Poteet by Johnson's Hot Rod Shop. And it is just exactly what a hot rodder would do. Holman Moody themed, so he's got the Holman Moody, I think, believe it's a built up 390 really worked over just the whole engine bay is perfect on this and then custom made wheels the paint is incredible the interior is phenomenal it's so little but so much at the exact same time and then out back they ended up putting in bump side tailgate insert with i believe those are uh slick side tailgate ends just love it all right guys so here is one of my favorite unibodies period it's owned by jack christensen if you guys don't follow him on instagram it's the gravel advocate he just did a coyote swap by seven speed shop but this entire thing aside from the motor swap was done by Pope's Hot Rods, and uh, I freaking love the way this looks. The patina, next level, and then the interior is super nice. He uses it, he drove it here from Elk City, Oklahoma. Drives the crap out of it. This is so cool. So this unibody is one of the ones that made me fall in love with unibodies, and I ain't mad about it. Found us another Ford. So this one is a 67 F100, little single cab short bed, and it has such a cool interior. That's what these guys do, team wit. And uh, check this out. So look at this door panel. Super cool. And what they did that's different. Most guys they go like there's a ring right over here. You could see they made the inner ring. So this ring is the one that usually holds on. That's where the door panel is. But they screwed into the steel and they made a full size door panel. I actually really like that idea a lot, a lot. And then they got a really nice seat. It looks like it's the original seat. They recovered. And then they made a nice center console. That's cool. So you got two cup holders. You got the shifter, a little storage area. You got some Dakota gauges. You got a doubled in. It's a really neat truck. I like their dash pad too. Really nice. Goes all the way to the edge. 
Yeah, that's a really cool truck. Very cool. So, Mike Goldman, literally, him and his team built some of the best. I mean, look at this engine bay. Could only achieve to have such level of awesomeness. Another LT5. Man. Some seriously awesome builds here. Who gave you a golf cart? I don't know. found Sean's Fat Fender. So this thing's actually out of Florida. Super cool, I believe it's a 53 I think, maybe 54. And it's just a really neat truck, completely laid out. And uh, I like it, I like it a lot. Really nice interior. I love all the uh, pinstriping he has done on everything. It's just old school cool. And that's my style. I like old school, I like cool. And that's exactly what this is. Yeah, I know. Alright guys, so we're here at the Patina Plantation, the King of Patina. So this is my favorite place to get my paint work done. You guys know them, Street Machinery. They have Snickers right now. This truck is Fotina'd and it's nuts. Just like this bug. Oh yeah. And this is the bad mamma jamma that does it. How you doing, Colonel? That was in a movie about them group curlets. It was. Like they got at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Sure did. There was a movie where the woman said, I accidentally walked into the bathroom and they was all lined up against the wall. I thought it was a firing squad. Don't know what he's saying, but that's just how it goes. Mowing in. Alright guys, so we're just going to keep walking around, hanging out. I'll pick you guys back up as necessary. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we're not planning to get any of these trophies, of course. But look at all of these. Incredible. A lot of these were built by different shops, made just for this. Giving out some guitars, some, man, just all kinds of incredible stuff. This is such a cool, cool, cool show. Here's a really cool bump. I've seen this one a few times. The guys over Medic and Powertrain. This is the one that they uh, tested their first kit because they make the full swaps. So if you guys want to put like a new, you know, five speed or six speed, they have that stuff. And then over here is definitely the world's craziest fridge. It was built by Revision Rods and Rides. And these dudes are nuts. They're out of South Dakota, I think. And this just from front to back, it's the craziest. So look at these gaps. This gap is so tight, it's insane. So starting up front, you have, I'm assuming, a Coyote with a Whipple. Looks like it. Full custom engine bay, bottom of the hood is all done. I mean, this is just crazy. You can see all the trophies. I mean, Barrett-Jackson Cup, top 12, good guys, everything. And look at this interior. So, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts. This truck is extremely custom and modified. Some people might like that, others might not. I'm really curious 
to hear what you think. I mean, look at all these billet inserts. Like, all of that is... This is crazy. I saw this at SEMA, but wasn't able to really able to walk around it because it was tucked away. But these guys built some incredible stuff. Look at this one, just all in bare metal. Everything too, the door panels, the dashboard. This one's got, looks like a Hellcat motor in it. That's so cool. Look at this beauty. Highlighter yellow. I love it. This thing is gorgeous. Beautiful set of wheels. Engine bay looks nice and tidy. Gorgeous interior. I think I actually saw this truck at Grand Nax. Now that I look at it some more. I like it. Here is an awesome bump side. This was built by Steve Legan and the guys. And he's got a Coyote under the hood, but made it look very OG. Those look like JC valve covers. And then he's got the Borla 8 stack on it. Super clean, just very original. So beautiful. Let's see, he's got a full Roadster Shop chassis, beautiful wheels. The paint on this thing is just flawless. And then his interior, very, very clean. Very, very clean and not too overdone at all. I love it. Looks like, yeah, the bed floor has definitely been raised. It's gorgeous. And look at this. This is pretty neat. He put the gas fill right there. Such a good idea. Alright guys, so I borrowed one of my buddy's scooters, so now we're on Scooter Gang, so we can actually roll through here because there are way too many trucks. This is crazy. Oh, found a couple of cool ones. Look at this thing. Good, how are you? This is beautiful. Yes, sir. I, there's a 79 F-150 I brought. This is beautiful. Original paint? Uh, Original-ish? Original. -ish. Old. It's old paint. Old okay. paint. Yep. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Man, this Things is awesome. Well for you. Things are good. That's good, man. Can't complain. Weather's better. For a car show. I ain't complaining. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. We're going to try to keep finding all the Fords over here. I appreciate you coming out. Yep, yep. It's nice to see you, brother. Good to see you, Jim. I'll catch you around. There he is. Check this thing out. So, 65 F100 single cab short bed. I actually remember seeing this thing on Power Tour. It's got a, I think it's a Gen 1 Coyote or maybe it's a Gen 2. Just a really clean build. Super cool, just driver. I love seeing the drivers. That's what it's all about. Award winners are driving during the award period. Hopefully you got gas in your car. Nobody wants to drive.
this? Gosh, look at the patina on this caddy. This is incredible. Wow. That is so cool. Hey guys, check this thing out. So it's an F800. It looks like a 55, 56, F800, 56. 94 Chevy chassis, so if anybody's looking for one of these, you hit up Chris. Thank you. Chris, how much you want for this bad boy? 30,000. 30,000? That seems like a pretty decent deal. How good does she drive? On the Cadillac, 30,000 miles, shit. Really, only 30,000 miles in the chassis. Winch work, everything worked? The winch, lights, all that work? <laughs> what do you mean? I see the vent windows work. Look, the vent windows work. Yeah. That's the air conditioning. I hear that. Well, maybe one of these guys will hit you up. Check out this unibody. This thing is beautiful. 1962 unibody. Sitting a little bit lower. I think this one's owned by Ray. Really clean interior. We've seen it out at Super Nats and Grand Nats. I think pretty much every time we've been there and it's just a beautiful unibody. Check out this bump side. So 1967, super clean. I like the color combo that he went with. That's nice. That's really nice. It's a clean truck right there. Finally found the Kiker Bumpside Bronco. So this thing is so cool. They had it tucked away here at their booth. They didn't even realize. So here we got. I love how they finished up this interior. This is such a clean build. Absolutely love how they did everything on here. We've seen it at SEMA. We saw it at Grand Nats. It's so cool. You guys know I love the wacky stuff. All right, guys. So now it's trophy time. You can see everybody is here around all the trophies. Pretty awesome. All right, everybody. So that is it. The 2023 Triple Crown of Rotting is officially over. It was such a fun time here in Nashville at Super Speedway. I love this place. I haven't been here in a while. Bobby Alloway, Gary Case, they made the most amazing show. So everybody's heading out. They just finished all the trophies and it was incredible. I'm debating whether or not I'm supposed to run the Raptor truck on the track or not. I don't know yet, but uh, if you guys can, smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below, what did you think of the video? What do you think of the show? Which was your favorite car or truck? Are you gonna come out here next year? And uh, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.